What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we are gonna go over the top five James Harden deadliest moves that you're watching on Ball Is Life. All right, Hoopers, well, like I said, we're gonna go over five moves from James Harden, one of the most prolific scorers in the NBA today. So we've got five moves to get through. Let's get right into the first one. We're gonna go over a between the leg step back. James Harden has one of the best step back games that I have ever seen. Going with his left hand, his right hand, off the catch, isolation, off his right foot, left foot. It doesn't matter, the way he uses his step back allows him to create opportunities in space from his defender to get his shot off. All right, so with the between the legs step back, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it really doesn't matter, okay? So I'm going to attack towards the middle. Now with James Harden's between the legs, as he attacks, he's trying to put his head down to get the defender to act or believe that he's trying to get to the basket. So he's really selling that drive, right? He's got his defender on his hip. He's trying to turn this corner. So that's what he wants the defense to believe. Now as he gets in this area here, this is when he's gonna put the brakes on, right? He feels as if now is the perfect time to create the space so he can get his step back jump. Now with the between the legs, there's a couple different ways you could do it, right? You can lead with that same side foot, so that right foot for me, since the ball is in my right hand, and I'm selling that drive. So I plant that foot, boom. Now when I use the between the legs step back, right, I'm here, I'm gonna throw it back between and step back into my jumper. Same thing if I was going left, boom. I would stop, left foot would lead, between the legs, step back, jumper. Or you could do the opposite foot as well. So as I'm attacking here, I can stop right here when my left foot is leading as if I'm trying to sell my drive, throw it between the legs and step back right into my jump shot. Same thing, going left, my right foot could be in front, boom, and I pull it back, okay? So after you go between the legs, you gotta make sure you add the step back part. We don't wanna just get here and shoot. We wanna go between the legs, we wanna sell our drive as if we're trying to turn this corner to get to the basket. Instead, we're gonna stop on a dime, boom, put it through, and step back to create a little bit more space to get our shot off, okay? So we're here, boom, through, push off, bang, money ball, bucket time. Let's have a look in full speed. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the next move. Now we're focusing on James Harden's sidestep jumper. All right, he's a left-handed player, I'm right-handed. Everything's still the same, it's just gonna look opposite from one another from me doing it versus James Harden. All right, so with the sidestep jumper, you can, it's gonna look the same going left or right. If I got the ball in my right hand dribbling down, I'm gonna go to the right side. If I had the ball in my left hand, I'm gonna go to the left, all right? So with this move, we're walking into it, really just feeling out our defender. Maybe we're coming down in transition. Maybe we're in the half court offense, right? And I'm just sizing up my defender. So I'm keeping that ball in my right hand. Now when I'm ready to go into my move, I'm going here, kind of like a hesitation. We're not gonna put the ball down again. Okay, so we're here, side hop, right into our shot, all right? So when you come down with this move and you see your defender start backing up, you're here, you're here. Now when you get ready to go into your move, that last dribble, boom, side hop. Right, so we did a step back move, but we're going backwards. Now with a side hop, we're hopping right to the side. We've got our legs underneath us. We can get a, a nice release and knock it down. All right, so again, going into it slow. How's our defender playing us? Okay, got him. Boom, easy bucket, money ball. Let's have a look in full speed at the sidestep jumper from James Harden. All 
All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the third move, the killer crossover, done by James Harden. Now, the killer crossover between the legs crosses the actual move. All right, but with James Harden, he's gonna feel you out, see what you're doing defensively before he breaks you down. All right, so with that, it could be something more of on the lines of a double cross, and then to go into your move, he's exceptionally good at changing his speed, changing his pace, breaking his defender down by going slow to fast, fast to slow, being able to do that over and over against the defender, especially with a move like the killer crossover. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna practice changing our speed, changing our direction and pace within one move, all right? So that's why I like when he comes up to his defender and he gives him a move first, and then he goes into his killer crossover. Because that double cross initially, this move right here, puts his defender to sleep and he'll stand back up, get them to relax just enough. So once they relax, now he's by you with his killer cross. Now we're gonna work on James Harden's double crossover. Again, another move that allows him to blow by his defender by setting him up, see how they're playing him, and then using his killer instincts and his killer dribble to get by to score. So with the double crossover, the last one we did, we were more in a, you know, our feet are shoulder width apart, leveled, and we used the killer crossover there, or the double cross that way. Now with the double cross, when it's a single move, James Harden tends to put one foot back, meaning, He's got one foot forward and one foot in this back position, loaded up, ready to get by his defender. So when he uses the double cross, it's one, two, and that loaded foot is that foot that's allowing his momentum and power to explode by the defender. All right, so again, a lot of the times when James Harden uses these moves, he'll come down, all right, see what you got, all right, feel you out, see what you're doing. Now when he goes into his move, it's plant that foot, right? As if I'm trying to blow by you, so it's a quick switch. We're in an even position to now when we get ready to attack, one goes forward, one goes back. We're loading our back foot up. So when we go double cross, it's one, two, and we're forward, okay? So again, I come at my defender. Okay, that's how they're playing me. All right, here we go. And I'm out, okay? Again, the change of pace, the change of speed is so important with a move like this. Put him to sleep and explode by and score at the rim. Move number four, double cross and full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the fifth move, James Harden, Euro step, right? One of the most popular plays in the game now to make when you're attacking the basket, and James Harden has one of the best in the game. So with the Euro step, you'll see James Harden attack and hit you with the regular one where he picks that ball up on his last dribble. Boom, Euro steps left to right, right to left, all different types of options. But the way that I like to see James Harden use his Euro step is right off of the bounce. Right, so if I was attacking the defender here and I take that last dribble, that same side foot is gonna go that direction as well. So if I got the ball in my left hand, that left foot is gonna go, then I'm gonna pick it up to score. Right, so if I was coming at you so you can see it, I'd come at you left foot, left hand, boom, boom, and then pick it up. On a regular Euro step, you pick it up and then you're going into your move. We wanna do it at the same time. So when that ball hits the ground, my left foot will as well, so we'll hit, boom, boom, and go by the defender. So we're really taking our dribble all the way up to the last point before the defender can stop us. All 
All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and participate in the poll that's going to appear upon your screen. Most importantly, click that subscribe button and join Ball is Life. Also, check the description. There's a link where you can go ahead and subscribe to Think Pro Basketball and check out all the great content we have over there as well. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the five moves from James Harden that you've seen in today's video. And remember that ball is always life. Remember to always keep hooping.